Hello? Somebody's... There's just some fairly creepy noises. Looks as if this basement caved in some years ago. Something's tunneled through here more recently, though. What sort of creatures makes these markings? Well, I don't know. Okay. Ugh. Is that a spider? I... I don't like spiders. No, I don't. Come on, ladder. You gotta hook this up here. Eh, come on. <laughs> hook. Ah. ah, there we are. Hey, buddy. How you doing, boy? Oh, it's dead. A horrible sight. Luckily, it's mummified. Or else the smell would have been awful. Day one. I begin this record still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives, and to that end I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive, and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. You know, that's funny because it reminds me a lot of the apartment I live in. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the incident that brought us here. And now, 30 years on, fate has struck again. Day 3. I forecasted that today the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesize uh, that they would be unaware of my location and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Day 6. My first was uh, mistake was to, uh, I'm sorry I'll start that again. my first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue my second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine my third mistake <laughs> was to act on both those assumptions in going outside of my safe haven my fourth mistake my best estimate that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid and I have found only danger. My fifth mistake, I approached the old living quarters, but curiously, could find no sign of life whatsoever. My sixth mistake, I could, uh, see, I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Confused, but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature, which seems to have made this old mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beasts. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some, times I, uh, for some time I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller, disused part of the mine key for which I still have in my pocket. Within that area, I discovered this storeroom, and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. I'm amazed. <laughs> my lesson learnt. Uh, I will not venture out again.
until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. I ventured out again, and... Let's see. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Supplies! Uh, lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. No, I do not like spiders. Nobody... Who likes spiders? Uh, some people like them. Day 34. I caught one of the accursed eight-legged beasts nestling in my open mouth Gah, when I woke up this morning. Ah, in my surprise, I swallowed it. It's not much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. That's disgusting. Day 35. Any known venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the incident. By lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. <sighs> I'd die. No, seriously, even if they weren't venomous and they're like potato chips. They're spiders. I just go, well, I'm screwed. I intend to venture into the basement beneath this storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. Day 50. For four days now, I have been surviving solely off the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. Good. Gash. However, Lady Luck smiled on me once more. Lady Luck is, is sick. Here, go, have a spider. Today's your lucky day. <sighs> um, uh, when the uh, battery, uh, let's see, Lady Luck smiled on me more when the batteries and my torch died, and I made a second life saving finding. The creature's natural habitat is in the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes and. Will have attracted enough of the beasts for a rather hearty meal. <laughs> How about no? Dry, dusty old bags. That steam could blister flesh from bone in an instant. I know, I've seen it happen. Day 71. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been made in error. After a careful autopsy, I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach, which, if, uh, if interestingly, uh, I'm sorry, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. One, I have no source of light. Two, I swore to myself that I wouldn't leave until I heard human voices outside. Three, the spiders are so tasty. You've lost it, man. You have lost it. Day 100. From the marks I have been making on the walls and my scribbled diary entries, which, in the dark, may amount to an illegible scrawl. Today is the hundredth day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive, <laughs> uh, and have swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could only uh, be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all else fails, and I am never uh, recovered, I hope at least that my study of, and indeed involvement with, these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point in natural history. The greatest names in modern science got there more through fluke than talent, and typically people have eaten loads of spiders too. And it appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. <laughs> I only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant. 
for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. What's that? If it weren't for the size...